Hello, Mark Anthony here in Hilo, Hawaii with uh, Thion. We're back again and we're doing a little test on some pots to see how well they hold up to the test. And what test do you have for them today? Well, what I'm doing is boiling water in typical pots that are across our country that people have, stainless mm -hmm. steel, There's a Teflon, Teflon mm -hmm. and a metal pot with an enamel. And you're putting one tablespoon of baking soda in them. Right, and one tablespoon of baking soda. One this tablespoon? One teaspoon. One teaspoon to one cup of water. One, one cup, cup of boiling of water. water. For a few mm -hmm. minutes, two or three minutes, we'll let it boil for two or three uh. minutes. And what exactly are we testing on these? Well, what you're doing is that most pots have aluminum in the middle uh -huh. They're coated with all the different all the different pots, whether it's corningware, whether it's glass, they have a coating on them. Uh -huh. But what we don't understand is that when we cook in our pots, some of the, the, the chemicals comes into our food, and that's why we add a lot of salt, p pepper, all kinds of stuff. But this particular pot won't have the leaching. This particular pot is a surgical steel and a... A um, lot better titanium. quality, huh? Yeah, the quality is surgical steel titanium. So you're going to have a chance to taste it. And these are, these are demonstrations that I've done in the past. And just to show you, this is a typical aluminum Teflon pot, which is what everybody oh, has. Oh. See, the water is clear. The water is clear. But if I turn this upside down, just from the water sitting, That's all the chemicals thick, from the, the aluminum? That's aluminum coming through your pots. Oh. Wow. Can anybody say Alzheimer's? Oh boy, look at this. Wow. I mean, you can just and see that's that. ending up in your thick. body right. from the actual pots. And then we have a normal Teflon pot. It's nice and clear, but it's a yellowish in color. Oh, there's some. Yeah, and there's then, some, then, uh... then you see this, and then you see all of that coming yeah. out. These uh -huh. are chemicals, these are things that come out into your pot. Wow. And it's, it's a top, typical American Teflon pot. Now, here's an old fashioned solid aluminum pot. This one never stays clear, and it is thick. Also, it's like mm -hmm. it's like it's a, a thick gel. It's a thick gel, and Amazing. it's very very thick. And that's a regular aluminum pot. And this is your cast iron, very popular old Ooh, American pot. It's like a yellow. That solid rust that comes out of the pot, and it's in it. And you've got lots of gunky stuff. Also, see it? Oh yeah. And that's rust that you're putting into your food. Uh, let's get that in your blood supply. That'll really bad, help. Bad, bad. Boy, iron. it doesn't do you much good to cook healthy when that's what you're cooking in. Now, this is a pretty good. This is a pretty good one. It's it's murky, and this is your corningware. Your corningware pot has still got dirty gunk in there. Wow. And it's not clear. This is your corningware. And this is your your cooking rice pots, your rice pot. Oh, that the little electric cook. ones that we get. Yes, and they've got aluminum. And oh, it's really look at thick. that! Oh, look at the that! Aluminum all at the top. And these are all oh, five-minute tests. That is tests. amazing. Just boiled for five minutes, just like now this we're one boiling that for five minutes. Boiling okay. it for five minutes, and we're, we're talking, at three minutes already. Right. This is an old Teflon. Like one that's all Teflon. scratched up. Yep, all scratched up. Which th that's bad. You've got and there's rust in there. You can see that yellow. There's yellowish color. It's yellowish color, and I'm going to show oh, you. I'm going to man. tell you what. Now, this, this is, is what's going in everybody's the, bodies. This is the best stainless steel pot. It's from. It's a clad. It's a stainless steel pot from Macy's. And I don't have that much water in there, but it is definitely full of gunk, and mm -hmm. it's murky. Now, this is the same pot of the good stainless mm -hmm. steel surgical steel. And you see how clear that oh, is? Oh, yeah. There's it's totally clear. There. And I turn it upside down. I, this water is a year old. Because over all these waters are year old, so we're going. That's why we're boiling this right now to do fresh water to see how this is going. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to turn this off right now. So that's why that's what's happening to people's bodies. Um, the that's chemicals what's going that you're in. getting in your bodies, but so we're actually getting chemicals from the pots that from we the cook pots in. in our bodies, and we've done it all our life, and we don't know that. And so, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to pour. Maybe this that's one why in. people are going whole natural foods. And, and now gonna, this is a white ceramic uh, yeah. pot. So I'm going to go here. It it's actually like a metal good, pot. Pretty good. It looks really clear. With ceramic pretty on good, it. Really good. Now we're going to do the Teflon. Mm -hmm. the Teflon but sometimes pot. it takes a couple days for this to cloud up, doesn't it? Well, you it? can see this and it's instantly yeah. murky. Now look at this one. It's instantly see that murky. One? And that's that Teflon coated. It's look Teflon. at this. That's that Teflon coated pan instantly, right there. Instantly very, and I'll very tell dirty. you, look at that. That is yeah. awesome. And now we will mm -hmm. the common stainless steel pot. And we just wonder in, what that's doing to your body. It's a common stainless steel pot that's in every every American home. It's mm -hmm. a common one. We'll see how that one goes. It looks pretty good. That's a clear one. Mm -hmm. 
but we're gonna taste it. We're gonna taste it, and you're gonna have the taste mm. difference. This one's already turning a little bit of color here. This one in the you can back. See that, huh? That's already turning a little color. So sometimes after they cool, they'll turn color. And, yeah, they're gonna uh, start turning after. Yeah. Oops. Okay. So just one cup of water. One cup of water and a teaspoon and of baking soda. And a teaspoon soda. of baking soda. And this and is you a can good surgical steel titanium pot. What's your um? Right, and what so your water's doing. But I want you to see this in this Teflon one. All of that white residue, that's not baking soda. That's stuff that came out of the metal because, mm -hmm. because, you see this pot? There's no white baking soda in this pot. It's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and even this one, it's nice. So it's not like it's calcium or lime from no. the water or nothing. No. It's actually it's what's from coming the out pot. Of that pot. You know, so that's not coming from anything else. Pot. So now what we're going to do here is this. We're going to do a taste test. And I'm just gonna. No blow. thanks. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can, you can do the taste test there. Okay, Knock I'm yourself do the out. Taste test. Okay. Now I'm gonna blow on it. So Give me a spoon. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll be. Wait, wait. This is challenging here. I'll take this. This is the, this is the, the frying pan Teflon. The frying. This That's one. It. This is, this is the white one right here. Okay. Okay. You're gonna blow on it and taste. Oh. Uh, is it? It's awful? like it's burning my tongue almost. It tastes so bitter. Oh! That's oh. horrible. Okay, this is the stainless steel <laughs> pot. Okay, rinse out our spoon. This is the stainless steel pot. Oh, that's horrible. I got a wipe. I'll just wipe mine okay. off. Okay, here, here, right here, the towel. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And here's the stainless steel pot and taste that one now. And that's all chemicals you're tasting. Not this blowing. is the stainless steel pot. Oh. oh, that is horrible. Now taste the Teflon. Uh, do I have to? Yeah, the Teflon. Okay. Just, just put your tongue in it. If you don't want to, it's horrible. Oh man, that that is really horrible. Can you taste the metal? It, it just oh, tastes. Oh, that is just oh, horrible. Oh, oh man, that's horrible. Okay, so now what we want to do is this: taste this one. You can it, taste the metal. It will not taste like any of those, but you'll taste baking soda. That's all you're gonna do. Different, big difference. It's pretty sharp on the baking soda, though. Yeah, the baking soda. Yeah, but it doesn't have that burn and it doesn't have that bitter. Yeah, that's a strong. Like the other soda. ones do. You know why it boiled down quite a bit in that five minutes. Yeah, you can taste the baking soda, but this have... this one here has a bitter. This one has a burn, mm -hmm. and then this one you can actually taste the metal. It, wow. it tastes real metally. Because that pot, that's that pot that was there. Mm -hmm. that, that, that so was after these things to. cool, they're yes. actually going to get this type of an effect. Yes, after yeah. they cool, they're going to get they're going to get worse. Too. They're going to change color, and you're going yeah, to see the true the you're going to see the true colors come out in time. Mm -hmm. That one's already turning a little cloudy. Yeah, you see that yeah. cloudy one. Yeah, look at that one's getting cloudy. Uh huh. Well, that is absolutely amazing. It's yellow. It's a yellowish. So color. here's a nice, easy way where you can test your pots at home to see exactly what you're intaking from what you're cooking in. So do this test at home. Take a look at what kind of uh, pots you're cooking in, and because you will tend to salt and oil and do all kinds of stuff to your food because it tastes awful. But when you eat it out ah. of an excellent pot, you won't. We cook in a spot with no salt, no seasonings because the food tastes so much better. So this will help your flavoring capability mm -hmm. too. Flavor. Plus, you're not getting all the chemicals in your body. Amen. It's the aluminum core. Amen. It's the aluminum core. Well, thank you so much, and we'll definitely have to put this on YouTube and send this off to all your friends and oh, let them see yeah, yeah. how to test that's, your that's, pots at home. Signing off, Mark Anthony saying thank you, thank you from Hawaii. Wow.